What is going on, everybody? Saturday night, Dragon Ball Super episode 125. Uh, we're really coming down to it here. I think we have seven episodes left of Dragon Ball Super, including this one. Well, Dragon Ball Super. It seemed I, I saw a lot of like stuff going around this week that like it's already been low key confirmed, but not announced that they are going to be continuing Dragon Ball Super or some kind of story of it. Which is the smartest thing to me. The amount of money that like this resurgence of Dragon Ball has brought in and now with the video game that just dropped today or last night and then with the new characters and Dragon Ball, they're bringing in so much money that it would blow my mind if they just like stopped it and left it. But we've already discussed that in the last video. Episode 125, uh, coming off of last week, Gohan sacrificed himself to get rid of Dispo. Um, a lot, a lot, I think like 90% of the reactions I've seen we're not happy with how Gohan went out. They feel like they're rushing it to get it done, so they've got to start like knocking out characters. But I mean, did they already have that written in that that's how Gohan was going to go out, or is it, or are they feeling rushed that they got to start knocking people out? Because you figure Seventeen's got to be next. It's probably going to be Freeze after that. Topo's got to go out at some point, and they've got seven episodes to do all of that and end the tournament unless they end the tournament on some kind of cliffhanger which would kind of be dope but i don't know we'll see um i've seen some screenshots of topo looking like the next god of destruction um floating around facebook and youtube so i'm guessing it's going to be a topo centric episode i don't know if he's going to knock out anybody if 17 if it's going to be a 17 in frieza verse um topo episode whole time are we going to get any vegeta Frieza, I mean, any Vegeta, Goku, Jiren, I would like to see how Frieza and Seventeen work together because they've never been around each other. So that'll be, like, they have no history together whatsoever, so that'll be very interesting, but we've been talking for two minutes, let's get on into it. We're pressing play, oh, hold on, Papa Bads, we're pressing play on episode 125 right now. Um, that'll just be a really interesting dynamic to see. Clearly, the seven. The early 17 and the early Frieza we knew in the way they are now, they could clearly get along now, but, oh, I couldn't imagine them trying to get along together. They're still doing this, so we got to pop out the earbud. Let's not take a look. I don't want to be spoiled with anything. And I was just looking back at it. I put out four... My Hero Academia videos this week, which is absolutely crazy. I was spitting those things out. Between last Saturday and this Saturday, we did Dragon Ball Super, two My Hero Academia, then Boruto, then two more My Hero Academia, and then we did seven videos. That's crazy. Um, yeah, absolutely crazy. I just got to know what happens next, but we'll get to that in another video. My hopes for the tournament, um, I mean, I've already kind of said it. I wouldn't mind seeing, I mean, best case scenario, Vegeta is the one to defeat. Jiren. Um, I'm hoping he unlocks Ultra Instinct or the, I mean, we still don't know his power level now, but they're making it look like it seems that Vegeta's new Limit Breaker form is equal to Goku in Kaioken times 20. Is that an accurate statement? If you know something I don't know, let me know. But my understanding is Vegeta's limit-breaking form power is on par equal to Goku at Kaioken 20, which is Goku's strongest transformation. So again, they would be even. It's just Goku has fallen into this Ultra Instinct thing, but he can't turn it on and off willingly, so... Really, Goku and Vegeta are even. It's just, does Goku get to a point where he can turn on Ultra Instinct? But it's not like something. It's not like something you turn on. It's just like a, a technique or something. So we'll see how it goes. I wouldn't mind seeing maybe a fusion, um, but I still best case scenario for me. Goku learns how to turn it on and off the technique or access it. He has the defense, and Vegeta has the offense. That's what I want. I know a lot of people are interested in that, too. Vegeta gets the attack version of Ultra Instinct. Goku gets the defensive version of the Ultra Instinct. And to beat Jiren, they have to either work together um, or fuse. And I'm fine with either one. What I don't want to happen is classic Dragon Ball um, 
Vegeta and Goku are just both just getting dusted. Like, they can't keep up. Vegeta tries some final flashy bang, and it doesn't work, and he gets knocked out, and it, and it, it, what am, word am I looking for? It inspires Goku to, like, beat Jiren, and he comes out on top right before the time ends. That's what I don't want, but we'll see. Episode is starting. With imposing presence, God of Destruction Topo descends. Now. Ooh, we open up with Goku, Vegeta, and Jiren. That art looks really good. Yeah, they're still arguing. Oh, he got him. He stopped it with his eyes. And he's in his strongest form. I'm done. He's playing with these kids, which we already knew. They went into this big power-up transformation, and he's playing with them. Goku's out of Kaioken. Vegeta's still in it. I love that tint of blue on Vegeta's hair, though. That looks great. That color looks really good, and it's really distinguishing the two of them. The art already looks, our animation looks way better. I know a lot of people were complaining about that the last two episodes. Goku's kid. There you go. Call that man by his name. Wow, Beerus is like making amends. So you can bow to him? That's so great. That's so great. Gohan, you the real one. Let's go again. Power back up. Flip it back on. Oh, is Jiren actually coming with an aura around him? No, he's not. Kyle, I mean, is Goku like 100% comfortable in this Kyle Ken now? Because he's been flicking it on and off for the last like 10 minutes of the tournament and he has not lost stamina or anything. Oh, is Freeza going to step in? 17, please survive. He's going to try to outlast the time. I hope 17 stays around, but I have a feeling he's going to go in like the next episode or two. Is Topo walking through it? No, he's actually getting pushed back. Frieza, we need help. He's not going to tire out, though. That's at least. Bingo. They have infinite energy. He's going to do that for six minutes? No way. It's not going to work. He should have whipped that out with, like, two minutes left. What is he looking at right there? What is that? Is he, like, seeing through it? Oh, he got out of it. I have a feeling 17's about to get knocked out. Where's Frieza? I need help. Dang, he's got the same aura as Jiren. Where's that, like, creepy-ass screenshot I was seeing of Topo and just, like, this, like, straight destruction-looking... He can't barrier that. Wow! He hit him with the beam struggle. Frieza, this is your chance. But you know what's really impressive is that 17 is like even fighting this right now. It makes that earlier fight seem like when 17 and Goku were fighting and everyone was like, oh, 17 is not as strong as Super Saiyan. He might actually be like up there. Is 17 out? Frieza! Frieza shot him in the back with a death beam. Nice. 
I love it. Absolutely love it. And the animation, the light on Frieza right now looks amazing. He's going to blast him in the back. I love it. Impressive, my warrior of justice. Mm, mm, mm. He is lighting this man's back up. He's going to have to make a decision. Do you keep up that beam or do you turn around and get this man off your back? <laughs> that laugh makes it so much better. Or you know what would be really badass? If Topo ate that and knocked off 17 at the same time. He can't keep it up. Mmm. Please don't dodge us and accidentally knock out 17. And then he's going to get eaten from 17's beam in the front. Wow, he did get eaten by both. Don't tell me he's going to fall into some, like, ultra instinct. Did they just knock him off? No, I don't think they did. Did they knock him off? No, he didn't. He's not on the stage. He stopped himself. I love that right there, though, is like... Loved it. Loved everything about that whole thing. Best case scenario, Frieza kicks this man off, but it's not going to go down like that. Dispo had his moment. Topo's going to get his moment. He's going to piss him off. This is where that screenshot of Topo must have came from. <clears throat> oh god, he's pissed. Justice is worthless. Whoa, Topo, don't turn into a killer now. Okay, what is that? Jiren even sensed it. Does Beerus, like, acknowledge that energy right now? Damn, someone's getting knocked out. I don't know why they're all acting shocked, though. It's not like Frieza and Goku and Vegeta didn't have, like, energy of a god um it's kind of the same reaction when they had that little preliminary fight and goku went blue for the first time and all the other gods and kais were shocked about this energy that rivaled a gods what is this curse mark my man's got on his chest yo he looks sick though <laughs> That looks great. Is that halfway episode? It is. Dang. Episode's been great so far. I mean, I have no complaints. No complaints. I'm just interested to see how it ends. Real interesting. Because I feel like this should this is something that should be stretched like three, four episodes. But with the time crunch we're in, I feel like something's going to happen here. Whether 17 gets knocked off, Topo gets knocked off. Mm hmm. What is that mark?
even Jiren like acknowledged it. I'm not thinking. I'm not gonna make the statement that in that laugh in his face. I'm not gonna make the statement that Topo's on Jiren's level, but the fact that Jiren even gave it like a look. They're gonna do the same thing. Did that go through him or? He destroyed it. It's a power belonging only to gods of destruction. And Topo is a candidate to be our universe's 11 god of destruction. Wow. A man who's all about justice and what's right. Our training? They tra Having made up his mind, Topo is no different from a god of destruction. Sheesh. And Freeze is laughing in this man's face. I love it. Freeze is about to get dusted. That's the same. Yeah, that does look familiar. But I feel like that was just a fraction of what Frieza did, experienced before. This might be like a hundred percent. He's gonna really gonna try to catch it like he did last time. No, they've got to give Topo his moment. He's gonna get caught in it like he did such like last time. Dang. You know, it was crazy when he shot that death beam at him and it just straight up, like, dissolved. Like, he destroyed the energy from even touching him. And I'm guessing Freeze is getting knocked out. I don't see how he stays in after that. He didn't kill him, did he? He didn't just erase this man from existence, did he? Okay, so the whole, can we get like a fresh wipe of the stage real quick or what? I feel like the Grand Prix should be able to do that with like a snap of his fingers. Wow, the whole like, we went from that dark green gloomy to like he just lit up the light and they're loving it. Where's Frieza? What does this say about Topo? Did Frieza eat that? Did he get busted back to base form? Now we gotta figure out where do we put Topo power-wise? Is he just below Jiren? And then what are we even saying about this stage right now? He's going to be brightness. He's cracking the barrier. I was just about to say that's impressive that his barrier can keep up with the God of Destruction. Um, how do we even know what is stage right now? Oh my God. And where's Frieza? He can surround himself with energy of destruction. He's just eating stuff. There has to be a weakness. He can't keep this up forever. Exactly. I'm with you, 17. There has to be a weakness. Is he losing stamina? Does he have a time limit? Like, what is it? Pretty sure he's gonna be able to see that. Is there a blind spot? Is there somewhere he can't?
Oh no. Someone gonna eat that right there? That confirms what? He needs time to charge before he can unleash his energy of destruction. It's no good. He can still sur Yeah, how do you how do you get to him? Where the fluff is Frieza? He clearly didn't get knocked out and they didn't kill the man or he would have got disqualified. So where is he? I mean, luckily, 17's got the energy that he can run around and try to figure out a plan and not lose stamina, but I mean... Oh, that's the last foothold. Frieza, if you're hiding, now's the time. Is he still golden? No, he's not, but he's still up. Nice. He still doesn't think a god of destruction is anything. Frieza seems really determined right now, though. Not like he's just, like, messing around. He's laughing in his face again. Is he going with, like, killing power? Tell me there's a strategy and you're not just like throwing this at this man's face. Oh, okay. He's just like flicking marbles. But what's the weakness? Oh, dang. Does Frieza go out right here? I mean, he clearly can't bust his head. Is he gonna... No. No, 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 no. <sighs> Fluff me. 17 saved him with that rock. <laughs> Yo, can we just talk about how great 17 has been this whole damn tournament. The man is great. Like he's been the biggest team player. He's level-headed. He's been thinking everything through. He wasn't letting Rebrian power up. Like He was getting, pe getting rid of people, not playing around. But clearly we know that Oh, and the episode's over. There's no chance his beam has against this right now. And I would really like to see Goku and Vegeta comment on this man, on what they're seeing right now. That, in my opinion, that energy, destruction, whatever you want to call it, is just going to eat that. Hmm. I'm not going to say 10 out of 10, because that's a high praise, but that episode was an absolute banger. I honestly think it was better than anything we've got, even the episode 123 when Vegeta got his shine. I'm putting that above that, and that and this episode had nothing to do with Goku and Vegeta. I mean, the episode was a banger. There were a couple shots where like Frieza's face was a little misformed, but besides that, the animation was on point, the art was on point. And it was just a great episode, start to finish. There wasn't any, like, lag time. We didn't get any commentary from, like, Krillin or Wiss trying to explain anything that we already knew. Like, it was a banger. That's all I got to say. The episode was great. The question now comes in, is, the, is there any um, weakness or drawback for Topo doing this? Because you would think, if there's not, why didn't he just do this from day one when Universe 11 people started getting knocked out? Why didn't he ramp up to that and, like, 
save the numbers. Um, so I don't know if there's a time limit. How long can he keep it up for? Does he just not like to do it because he's so all about justice and he doesn't like to? I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then where does that rank Topo power-wise right now? Um, is he still below Goku, Kaioken times 20, and Vegeta Limit Breaker? Is he even with them? Is he now the second strongest right below Jiren? I don't know. It's hard to talk power scaling. Um, but yeah, the episode was great. I think 17 probably has been the biggest team player on our team. Um, maybe I'm just saying that because I'm caught up in the moment in the episode. If I take a minute and really think about the tournament. Um, yeah, he's been great. But let me know what you guys thought of the episode. Absolutely loved it. Thought it was great. Like, share, favorite, subscribe. We will have My Hero Academia Season 2 Episode 9 up tomorrow. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there as always.